What's going on YouTube? So obviously a lot of things have been changing lately due to the whole COVID crisis. I personally have been staying home and been pretty strict about the whole quarantine thing. So what I've been doing is remotely recording with my band Reasons Above All. So I set up a new bedroom studio that makes that much easier for me to do. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick little tour. All right guys, so if you've seen the Home Studio Tour 2019 video, this was the desk that was in there. Uh, it's a Studio Trends 46 inch desk from Guitar Center and is basically the center of everything happening here. So starting at the top, I also brought over my Yamaha HS7 monitors, which are amazing. Love those things. Got those sitting on top of some acoustic foam so that they don't resonate on the desk too much. Also got these Cyber Acoustics computer speakers and they come with a subwoofer. Here we've got my Art Studio V3 preamp. So I use this for vocals, guitars, and it's got a lot of presets and voicings for a lot of different things. So it's quite versatile and I use it for almost everything. Here I've got my Mac Mini 2018. Just got this very recently off eBay. I run Studio One 3 Professional with it. Also got this little USB-C dock hub and a one terabyte external hard drive. So far, the setup works pretty good. My main interface is the Apogee Quartet on top of a Furman power conditioner. My keyboard is an iClever Bluetooth wireless keyboard and my mouse is a Jellycomb wireless mouse. My monitor is a Sceptra 22 inch and it's 75 hertz at 1080p. It's one of the most affordable ones on Amazon and it works really well. To the right you can see I have my PlayStation 5 to satisfy my intense gaming needs. <laughs> of course uh, as an old Xbox 360, you can tell I am not much of a gamer, don't judge me. Recently I started using this TC Helicon T1 vocal compression pedal. Compression slash de-esser works really well and so does the shape which is just a little bit of a tone knob and the warmth button if you want that. Moving along, we have the BBE B-Max T. This is a tube bass preamp. Sometimes I use it for guitar too, not gonna lie. And we're on top of another monster power conditioner. So to the left, I've got four guitars and uh, some headphones. Uh, my Gibson Les Paul, my Epiphone Thunderbird bass, the Yamaha Acoustic and a Fender Acoustic Electric. So behind me I have two more guitars, both Schecters. This one right here is my Schecter Blackjack ATX Solo 6. And the other one is the Schecter Demon 7. To my right, I have two heads, a 6505 Mini and a Bugera Tri-Rec Infinium. The cabinet is my Harley Benton 2x12. I have done reviews on all of these, so I'll link those in the description below if you care to see those. And I've got an Audix i5 microphone that's basically kind of permanently sitting there at the grill of the cabinet. And these are some extra pedals that I keep in my closet in case I need some different sounds. So for vocals, it's a little bit wonky here, but I do have the short mic stand in the drawer of the dresser. And then I have this Sterling Audio little makeshift vocal booth. It's sitting on top of some uh, Boss pedal boxes just to give it a little more height. The dresser is kind of almost the perfect height for me personally. So it kind of works out. It does save some very limited floor space from a base of a mic stand, you know, getting in the way of, say, my chair moving back and forth or just me stepping on it. So that is a plus. And the microphone I use is a Rode NT1. So the space here is pretty small. We're talking about 11 and a half feet long and about nine feet wide. And uh, after moving a whole lot of things out and rearranging my entire room, I was finally able to fit this desk in here and basically, you know, get this whole bedroom studio thing going. I do wish that there was less windows in this setup just because it's kind of more cause for sound to come in and out. Uh, although these are dual pane windows, so they definitely uh, keep the sound out a little bit better. And I also happen to have that old school popcorn insulation on the ceiling, so that actually does a really good job of dampening the sound. So one thing that I do think is worth mentioning, especially if you're planning on building your own bedroom studio or home studio, is to keep in mind the purpose and uh, function of the space really. So if you have a dedicated room that can be you know, solely an office space or a studio, I think that would probably be preferred. Here I have you know, a shared space where this is where I sleep, 
I get ready, I dress, uh, you know, I relax, hang out more or less. And uh, that can sometimes be contested a little bit by having an office workspace. Sometimes you might be working hard in here and you want to like unwind and relax, but you still feel like you're in the workspace, you know, and you can't leave and go home because you're already home. And uh, especially in this whole quarantine thing, you know, there's nowhere else to go. I would just say try not to overwork yourself in this space. Keep things light, keep things fun and just maintain balance between, you know, work and relaxation. And I think that'll help in the long run. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to peruse my channel for more content or see the links in the description below. I am working on another video where I'm going to be talking about my experience being in a band during this whole pandemic and uh, basically a couple of things that you can do to remain an active musician in what seems a lot like stagnant times. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you all in the next video.